World Series Game 4 coming up. We'll see the Chicago White Sox as they play against the Chicago Cubs. Baseball, Major League style on 2K Sports. What a dominating performance we have seen. We are in Game 4 of the World Series, and it is 3-zip. Gary Thorne, Steve Phillips, and John Cruck, and we're ready to go. He is electric. That describes Jake Peavy. And he's out there on the mound, and we'll have a chance to watch it. Chicago, Illinois, the famous site, Wrigley Field on the north side, and a night game. The role of starting pitcher, handled by Randy Wells. As he gets into this White Sox lineup, Steve, a little strategy. Well, the offense is going to be important to support this good right-handed pitcher on the mound today. He's facing a great lineup. This team could put some runs up on the board. So if his club could score early, it could take some of the pressure off of him and allow him to get in the strike zone a little earlier in the count. Lineup for the White Sox. Let's take a look. It is courtesy of Pepsi. Now, John, anyone in particular we should keep an eye on? Well, all you ask from your players is to give them some consistency, and Johnny Damon throughout his career has done that. He's a guy that can hit for average. He can hit the ball in the ballpark if you make a mistake. The thing about it is he's a winning player. It seems like any team he ever plays on, they end up winning championships. That's what you need from a veteran like him. All right, Steve, while it's still early here, uh, what do you think the strategy is in this ballgame? Well, Gary, they're going to have to lay it on the line in this one. They're on the brink of elimination here in the World Series. They've got to keep their heads up and play the kind of baseball that got them to the series in the first place. Hit hard on the ground to short. And he's on. First batter up. That could be a good sign offensively. Got a chance to check out the Cubs' defense as they're out on the field. So Steve, any individual standout? Alexi, the Kosuke Fukudome is a guy who played a lot of center field in his career. Whether he's in center field or he's in the corners, he can make plays. He's not afraid of the wall. He's willing to go up and make the tough catch. Right one. And Steve, you talk about an advantage when you got to play that hard and be that strong. It certainly does. Swung on and ripped towards second. I tried to go down with that 0-1 pitch, but it gets blasted right back for the base hit. But the way he went after that in the box, Steve, it looked like he might have been guessing down there. Well, I'll tell you what, you have to make contact behind in the count. He got a pitch over the heart of the plate, and he took advantage of it. And there's one. And two. A double play. RBI opportunity right here for Carlos Clinton. Two outs and a runner on second. A dive and he's back in easily. He swings on that 0-0 delivery, misses the fastball. Strike one. A lot of times movement will fool a hitter, but it looked like right here the velocity on that pitch was what caused him to swing and miss and be late. Here's the delivery. Fastball swung on and missed. Side retired. They pick up no runs on two hits and strand one. And the Cubs, their first chance. We're going to take a look now at the starting pitcher for the White Sox. John, what do you think his strategy is going to be today against this Cubs line? Well, coming off an injury-filled season in 2009, Jake Peavy's going to look to rebound. He has a fastball in the mid to upper 90s that he throws from a three-quarter delivery. A great slider and a great changeup. He's a power pitcher who strikes people out, and when healthy, he's one of the best in baseball. And a foul ball. At the belt, Peavy kicks and throws. And Soriano makes good contact here. And Quentin pulls it in. One away. Presented by Pepsi, we'll show you the lineup Lou Pinella's got. Scouting pick, John, who are we uh, looking at today? Oh, when you watch Ramos Ramirez plays, a very unassuming, quiet-looking guy, but there's a fire that burns in his belly. He has the desire to do a lot of damage when he gets in that batter's box, and more often than not, he delivers for his team. The manager puts him in a lineup every day, and all he does is produce. Look for big things from him today. Strike two. Peavy dominating in this A.B. He's got some pitches to play with. A line drive towards short. And Ramirez feels the ball. 
so Bird is set down. Number 25. Now with two outs, chance for Derek Lee. He is three for 18 lifetime against Jake Peavy. First pitch, fastball, 0 and 1. Unless you stay back and really think about going the other way, you've got no chance of hitting that four seamer. Back up the middle. Back up. Throws on to first in time to retire the side. Good defensive half inning there. No hits allowed. Both teams still looking for their first run in Chicago. And Beckham's in the box. He'll start it off here in the second. Gordon Beckham. Strike one. Wells gets him to swing on one. Well, this one here with no doubt about it. The late break on that slider. I mean, what a devastating pitch. And the hitter just couldn't catch up. Strike two. Gordon Beckham now will have to keep an eye out on the strike zone. Well, anytime you recognize a slider, you got to be very patient with it. You can't be over anxious. You got to stay back. And then when you see it good enough, let it fly. And he only got to see three pitches. Now, unhittable pitches, but he saw them nonetheless. Boy, that's a tough at bat for the hitter who's got to walk away almost before he even got there. This one's pretty well hit to deep left center. And Soriano tracks it down. It's going to be Brzezinski. Base is empty with two outs. That one swung on its line. And that'll do it as Terrio puts it away. No runs, no hits. Nobody crossed the plate in this half inning, and nobody left on base. White Sox still looking for a run. Need of the lineup coming to the plate. you're enjoying tonight's broadcast. Time to be bundled up here if you're in the stands. Well, hot chocolate wouldn't hurt either. And here's Aramis Ramirez. He's going to start the second for the home team. Swings on that first pitch. Misses the fastball. 0-1. Here's the 0-1 from Peavy. Ramirez will foul that one away. At the belt, Peavy kicks and throws. Ramirez fouls it off again. Well, with the way we keep track of pitch counts right now, you know 0-2, the pitcher wants to put him away. The fact that he has to throw another pitch just tells you how defensive a swing the hitter He's had to back. keep it going. The One away. Number 18. And it's Giovanni Soto. Soto. But he on base. One away. Here's a swing soft liner right side. And that'll be in by the Cubs. First hit. And he's aboard easily. That'll bring up Jeff Baker. A good piece of hitting right there with one out. Now let's see what they can do with him now that they've got a man on first. And swing and a miss on Peavy's pitch. 0-1. Well, this one here with no doubt about it. The late break on that slider. I mean, what a devastating pitch. And the hitter just couldn't catch up. Still 0 and 2. Here's the delivery. You're Jeff out. Baker looks at that one strike three call. Chicago Cubs. That's a lot of movement there for pitching 87 miles per hour. There's one on, and here comes Ryan Terrio. Fastball in there, 0 and 1. Well, that's a quality fastball right there. Just pounding the strike zone down and away. He had no chance to put that one in play. And it's two strikes now, and Terrio's got to protect that strike zone. Lined right at the second baseman. That one's grabbed. Side retired. Solid outing moves on here. Jake Peavy. He's off to it. He's going to start the third here. Number 20. 
and Joe Creedy. Hit up the middle. Whoa, get out of the way of that one. Straight back up the middle. So, Jim, tell me, coming up. A uh, nice piece of hit right there. You get on base to start the inning with no outs. You know, all it does is you want to just keep the line moving if you're the guys behind him. Runner on first base, nobody out. It's 0-1 as he swings and misses at that fastball. Only one career at bat. That's a one off Wells. And he's out in front on that pitch, so he's in the hole now, 0-2. A great change up right there. You see how far out in front of it he is. You can't connect on that. Jim Tome up empty on a swing. KK presents the two seamers. Take a look. Johnny Damon. I think uh, last couple of pitches he faced, it didn't seem like he was ready for that fastball. Yeah, he got some off speed pitch the previous pitch, but you should be able to expect to get the bat on that heater, especially with two strikes. Swing and a drive, deep left center. This one to Soriano. That's two gone. At the plate for the Chicago White Sox. And a shot here for Alexi Ramirez. Two down. He's one for one so far. And Ramirez settles in. First pitch. And Wells has him all in one with that called strike. Well, I think we're going to see the catcher call for a lot of sliders in this one, Gary. He's got a good one, and hitters just have not been able to figure it out. And it's 0-2. Alexei Ramirez going to have to protect now. Pretty safe bet here. This is swung on, lifted to deep right field. It's off the wall on a hop. He throws. Greedy's trying for the plate. Tagged at home, and he is out of there. They pick up no runs on two. Here's a quick glimpse of Lou Pinello looking on. He's watching great deliveries on the mound. Struggling bats, though. Important now to get the offense stinging. That's at the knees for a called strike. Now that he's established the strike zone down and in, he can elevate a pitch or go with something soft away from the hitter. Strike two. Peavy dominating in this A.B. He's got some pitches to play with. Swings and hits this one. Going to be fielded by Rios. And it's caught by Ramirez. Center fielder. Number one. And it's Kosuke Fukudomi at the plate. Fukudomi! A swing and a foul off to the right side. Here's the 0 1 from Peavy. Ground ball up the middle, and that's a base hit. Fukudomi on board, and Ramirez fields the ball, and that will bring up Alfonso Soriano. Now, sometimes you make a great pitch, and the hitter just happens to be lucky at this particular time. This is one of those balls that was hit in no man's land. Not a play could be made on it. That's why he's on first base. And this at bat already old, and that swung on and hit. Rios. It's down, a base hit. The Cubs in a nice position to capitalize. Nice piece of hitting right there. He manages to drive that very low one pitch for a base hit. Good patience, good pitch recognition. It sure looked like the hitter decided he wasn't going to get behind 0 2. He was going to wail. Uh, he was aggressive, no question about it. Got a pitch he could handle. Took a hand. 1 0 pitch. Misses outside for ball two. Here's the pitch. Swings and hits this one. Going to be fielded by Rios. And there's another one. Couple of quick hits. And he'll come in the score. Well, the Cubs are riding it along right now. They're making it happen. But now he surrenders three straight hits. He's got to bounce back and get this guy. He needs an out. Here is Derek Lee with a chance to do some damage. Some production being seen in this game early. They've got a chance now to extend the lead. Well, you have to credit this lineup, Gary. It's some quality at bats right now and taking advantage of the opportunities, and now they have a lead. Soriano has that kind of athletic ability that he can steal. They've got to keep an eye on him. We'll see Canerco holding him in there. 
Here's the 0-1 from Peavy. Swings and hits this one. Going to be fielded by Rios. To Floriano going towards third. At the plate for the Chicago Cubs. Third base. Number 16. Two out, two on for Ramos Ramirez. And Ramirez settles in first pitch the left center and the sides retired Damon catches it as he heads in third inning offense able to get a run in the Cubs lead it one to nothing. For those of you just joining in I'm Gary Thorne along with John Cruck and Steve Phillips we bring you Major League Baseball here on 2K Sports. And Paul Kaderko to lead it off. We'll get another shot after hitting into that double play last time up. And he starts Kaderko out. Strike one. Wells gets him to swing on one. Now Gary's done a nice job working around the four hits he's given up here into the fourth. And swing and a hot shot. Oh my. How did he get out of the way of that? Those are scary. That's going to bring Carlos Quinton up. Well, a good start to this inning, but let's see if the guys behind him, after he starts out this inning with the single, can follow up and finish this inning off with some runs. Runner on first. He deals. A line drive towards the hole, and it's caught by Ramirez. Now coming to bat for the Chicago White Sox. And Beckham's in the box. One out. Runner on at first. Now the first pitch. There's a swing and a drive. Deep right field. It's off the Ivy. And the throw. And that's going to plate Alex Rios. Opposite field hitting. It is a classic piece of baseball. Especially on that inside pitch. It keeps the defense off guard when you can muscle the inside pitch to right field. Line down the right field line, but a foul wow. ball. This is swung on, lifted to deep right field. As it runners on the move. And he scores. That is the tying run. And they turn the double play. So they pick up a run on two hits and leave no one on. Even game here in Chicago. Middle of the lineup, do up. Good glimpse of the manager, Ozzy Guillen. His plan for getting this game back tied up work now is for his pitching staff to hold it that way. At the belt, Peavy kicks and throws. Swings and misses the slider. 0 and 1. Well, this one here with no doubt about it, the late break on that slider. I mean, what a devastating pitch, and the hitter just couldn't catch up. Hot shot towards the hole. And Ramirez feels the ball. And that sets down Soto. He could make a video on how to field his position. He gets over and makes it look easy. Solid fundamentals out at first base. Here's the first pitch. Slider swung on and missed. 0 and 1. Foul straight back. And that's the ball. He'd be too far outside with it. Well, this would be a perfect pitch if it stayed in the zone. This slider just slid right out of the zone, just off the bottom outside corner. Good patience. Jeff Baker lets that one go by. It is a ball, and the count is even. Lines this one to the left side out of play. This one's grounded to second. Back up. And Baker set down. Well, nicely done there. He ranges to his right over to second base, able to plant and throw and get the run. Terrio at the plate. The 235 career average off the White Sox. Here's the first pick. Shot towards the hole. Played by Canerco. And he'll step on first to retire the side. 
Three up, three down for Jake Beebe. Fifth inning coming up at Wrigley. Fifth inning for the Chicago White Sox. Catcher number 12, A.J. Krasinski. Strike one. Wells gets him to swing on one. Well, if you're going to get a good fastball, you better pull the trigger a little sooner. You can't be late on that heater. And that's a strike. A.J. Krasinski now behind on the count. Defensive stance at the plate. Well, just an impossible pitch to do anything. Swing and a high drive. Hooking into the corner. Goodbye home run. And a solo home run that breaks the tie. Big clutch homer. Home run, base is empty. Let's see its effect on the game. Our WPA graph, courtesy of Pepsi. Now, Gary, looked like he was setting on that pitch. He got it and drove it out of the park. What they're going to want to do in this ball game now is take advantage of that and build that momentum up. Well, they need to still be aggressive the out there and go right the after. White Sox. Now, Gary, White Sox couldn't be happier right now. They've gotten the Joe hits they needed. Brady. They've taken the lead. They're looking to add on more, hoping to end up winning this game. Plays off a called strike of the knees, 0-1. And yeah, we, we talk about how a hit or a home run can be critical at certain points of a ball game. You just saw it. Well, now you have to wonder how long the manager is going to stick with this pitcher as he's given up the lead. So Jim tell me coming up. Well, now after giving up three straight hits, the manager has to start thinking about getting somebody up in the pen. No one out and a runner on first. Now Soto sets up, smashes that one towards the shortstop, and Terrio gloves that one. There's no justice in this game. When you hit it that hard, you should get a base hit, but he hit it right at the shortstop, and unfortunately, he's back to the dugout. One down, runner at first. Wells with the pitch. Swung on line to right center field, and it's starting to head out towards the wall. He's thinking extra bases. The throw. Yes, a great situation for some offense. Well, this is a guy right here that was made to hit fastballs, and that's what he looks for, and that's what he got right there. Put a good swing on it. He knew what to do with it for that double. And uh, in the batter's box, it's Ramirez. Had a double his last time up, and Creedy comes home. Two fine plays in one right there, the dive and the throw. That's not an easy throw. When you're on your knees to be able to get that sort of strength on the ball, that's great arm strength. With a run 90 away, here is Paul Canerco. And they've not had to struggle here at the plate in this game. They just keep building on this lead. Here, we just saw a big hit right there, and it points out how critical it is at this time of the game to have somebody to step up to get the job done in a clutch situation. And now it comes down to can their bullpen hold this lead. This one's pretty well hit to deep left center. And Fugadomi's there. And that's the third out. That'll do it. They pick up a couple to break the tie. The White Sox leading now. They've got the momentum. And hot power batting. 0 for 1 thus far. Number 6. Micah on power. And the first pitch. And swing and a miss on Peavy's pitch. 0 1. In there at the letters, and he falls behind 0 and 2. That's a great pitch right here. Pounding the strike zone, going up and away. A pitch he could catch up with. Slider, look out. That's dangerous up there. Well, that's a wake-up call right there. You think, eh, I'm going to go up, have a nice leisurely at bat. Not so fast. Look out. Fastball the in there, the called Chicago third strike. Center. One up. Center fielder. Boy, it took Number four one. pitches. No wasted time right there, and he got him. What I liked the most was he was very deliberate with what he had to do. He knew he, had to, he can go out of the strike zone to get the punch out, and that's what he did, getting him to swing. Base is empty, one out. He delivers. Slider just misses one and all. That's a good pitch there. Tried to get him to chase it out of the zone. He just laid off. 
Called strike on the outside corner to 21. How good life on this fastball as he just buries it down and away. 1-1 one, one pitch is a cut fastball taken for a strike. One and two. And it remains one and two. The one two on its way. You're out. And a swing and a miss. Kosuke Fukudomi strike three and he's out of there. With two strikes, the hitter wanted the fastball. He got it, but didn't do anything with it. Base is empty and two down. Here's the pitch to Soriano. Peavy misses. He's out of the zone down low. Fastball misses badly. He's behind 2 and 0. Oh. What a good 2 0 rip. Missed that one though. 2 and 1. Here he comes. 2 1 pitch. Now Soriano has the 3 1 count. Got it right where he wanted it. A 272 lifetime average against the White Sox. Called strike that time and a full 3 2 count. Well, that's a pitch a lot of guys can do some damage on, but unfortunately, the pitcher gets the strike, the hitter couldn't swing the bat. Count holds at 3 2. And that's another foul ball. You know he was hoping right there when he threw that fastball as long as this at bat has been that he would get that big strikeout. Now he has to regroup and go back to work. And uh, that half inning finished with a strikeout. And nothing across here in this half of the inning. The White Sox still ahead. Leading it off, Carlos Quinn. No, oh, I'll tell you, everybody, Steve, I think notices when he gets to the plate, the attention deficit disorder just sort of goes away. Wells with the pitch. He swings and nails a liner. And Quentin's got himself a base hit. That's going to bring Gordon Beckham up. Uh, definitely, Gary. You're absolutely right. This guy's got that kind of pure raw power that is so fun to watch. Runner on first. First pitch to him. Headed for the middle. And in there, he's two for three today. Tremendous situation now for the White Sox. Well, just another great game by this guy. I mean, he comes into this game on a streak. Now two hits already in this one. Here's Alex Rios now, RBI champ. Well hit towards the middle. And he throws on to second for the force. What a play. And a great throw right there. Second base, strong arm. Well, straight critical turn in the double play. It can be a matter of a split second to get the out. Great double play. Here it comes. Swing and a line to the right center. And in there, the White Sox will score. Boy, the continuation here of this offense is called big time momentum. Number 29, Joe Treaty. Well, anytime you have two hits in a game, it will build confidence, and he's carrying it over into this game. And it's Joe Creedy at the plate. Steve, we've seen them continue to charge it up at the plate, and it doesn't look like they're going to be stopped. Drill towards the hole, and there's Lee as he pulls it in for the third out. They pick up one on three hits, strand a man. White Sox up three. We've got Bird Battle. Had an RBI single his last time at the plate. And the first pitch. Off the plate with a fastball, and it's 1 0. Lifetime, 1 for 3 off Petey. That's the 1 0 pitch go by, 1 1. That's a good, hard fastball right there. Let's see if he comes back with another one now. Good spot that time. Hit that outside corner, 1 and 2. The one two pitch swing hot shot and he gets it through. That's his second hit in the ballgame. That will bring Derek Lee up. 
And maybe he wanted to waste that pitch. He just didn't get it far enough away. Or up high. Well, it, just, it was still caught a little too much of the plate. The batter took advantage of it. Good focus at the plate. Bounce him up with a cut fastball for a strike. Well, if he can throw this cutter down and away like this, he's going to be very effective. That's an outstanding pick. Derek Lee not fooled by that one. The count goes even. On the way. Ground ball towards second. And he grabs this one. Gets one at second. Over to first and safe. Very close play. They will not get the double play. One away as Aramis Ramirez gets it. 0 for 2 thus far. And Ramirez settles in. First pitch. That's a strike. Beebe gets it by him. Well, the hitter lays off this pitch realizing you can't do much. When you get that kind of four seam fastball down and away, it's tough to hit. Now here's a grounder towards the hole. And so Ramirez retired. Now batting. Well, they might have been able to get the out at second, at least getting the lead runner. But at least they got the sure out at first. Giovanni Soto. I tell you what, this young guy can swing the bat and he thrives in RBI situations. Liner between first and second. And it is in there. That's going to bring the tying run to the plate. The opportunity for offense is right now. Just kind of lean in, Steve, and slap that thing the other way in that kind of pitch. Well, you can't pull that pitch. If you do, it's going to be a ground ball to short. You want to punch it to right field. He's one of the best at doing it. Good patience. Jeff Baker lets that one go by. It is a ball, and the count is even. That one goes foul. PB winds up for the one-two pitch. And another foul ball. Well, even though he's still behind in the count, it's got to give himself a lot of confidence to know that this guy threw one of his best pitches, that strikeout pitch, and he still put it in play to foul it off. Now he's in the pitcher's head. And Jake Peavy is heading in. Still looking to preserve the lead for the win. And it'll be the White Sox. And Jim Tobey to lead it off. Lined out last time off. Number 27, Jim Tomey. Tomey gets in. Here's the first delivery. Takes a swing at that fastball. Can't connect on one. His lifetime average, 288 against the Cubs. Bimel delivers the strike now 0 2. Well, this is just one of those pitches. Swing and a ball hit high and deep to left field. That ball is way back there. Gone a home run. And one more to that lead. Fly ball out of here. Four up. Well, another home run right there. That's two now. So really, this this lineup looking like they're getting very comfortable. White Sox lead expanding here, Gary. They just keep getting big hits. Base is clear, no outs. Johnny Damon. Now Soto sets the target. Damon swings and misses for strike one. And Steve looks like uh, this is right where you want to do it towards the end of the ball game. That's a very big hit. Now this is the point where the pitcher needs to bowl his neck and make a statement by shutting them down. He's got to go after this next hit. Swing and a line drive. And in there for a base hit. He's three for four today. So that brings Alexei Ramirez up. Well, just what his team needed. He continues to swing a great bat. Three hits from now in this ball game, and he's on with no outs. The pitch. That one's drilled to short. That's one away. And they just tried to hold him there at first. Now Paul Pinerko batting with a runner on first. Paul Pinerko. And he starts Canerco out. Oh, Looked like the circle change, and it just misses. One and zero. Oh. One zero oh now. Right. Swing and a miss. Canerco not making contact. That'll even up the count. Boy, well, he's got great movement on that two seamer. It's one of the best around. 
No, he pulls the string on the circle change. One and two. Well, you talk about a guy who just corkscrewed himself into the ground. You're out. Bad timing. Swung on, missed. Curveball struck him out, two down. Carlos Quinton at the plate, two away. Try it again here, just one for three thus far. First pitch to Quinton. There's a swing, line drive, center field. Fantastic chance here. Boy, that's hit number 15 in them for that one. And boy, you get 15 hits in the game. The matter you can just sit back and relax and watch his team work. Shot back to first. And it gets down. Damon will try and bring a run. And the White Sox, they just keep rolling. And we'll see in the replay, this one bounced over the wall. But really a break for the pitcher here, because I think he had a chance to stretch it into a triple. Now he has to stay at second base. Two on, two out for Alex Rios. This is a potent offense on the field right now, really dominating. Now, Gary, as you can see, this offense just keeps on rolling, keeps on producing. Now a swing and a shot toward second. And that ball gets through, and the runner's going to come home. And a second run is in. Two now, run single on that one. Chicago White Sox. Catcher, number 12, AJ. What more do you need to see? Now you have to question his confidence. Giving up three straight hits. Not much going right out there at this point. It's going to be Przinsky. Well, this may be one of those games. Line towards second. Baker throws on the first side is retired. So they add a four spot here to extend their lead even further. White Sox continue to run away with this ball game. And it's Ryan Terrio to lead us up. 0 for 2 thus far. Number 2, Ryan Terrio. Ontario ready. First pitch. Called strike. And PB's got him on one. Obviously, seventh inning right now. Game getting a little bit short. You're in the final third of the game. Got a big lead. So you want to throw strikes. Do not let them get back into this game. We're talking World Series stuff right now. Throw strikes, make them earn it. Terrio oh. makes contact, fouls that one off. We can do this, Terrio. Good cutter. Swung on and missed for the first down. With two strikes, the hitter wanted the fastball. He got it, but didn't do anything with it. One out, faces him. First pitch on the way. Hit on the ground over to shortstop. Fielded by Ramirez. And so half power retired. Center fielder. And it's Kosuke Fugadomi at the plate. One for two in the ballgame. And that's in for a strike. They're on the biggest stage right here in the World Series, and it's slipping away. They cannot seem to cut this deficit. Two outs here in the seventh inning. They On the ground to second. Beckham. He'll throw on to first, and that'll do it for this half inning. And there are... And if you just joined us, our broadcast of Major League Baseball on 2K Sports with John Crook and Steve Phillips, I'm Gary Thorne. You know, they're losing a little bit in the defensive department with this change. It may be geared more toward offense. It's just odd to make this move right now. And Grady retired. And it's Jim Tomey in the box now. Tomey gets in. Here's the first swung on hit. And that one's through for a base hit. Second hit in the game. 500 today. Now and that'll bring Johnny to Damon to the plate. Well, he feels feel playing back in this situation. A well hit ball just getting by him for a base hit. First pitch on the way to Damon. Hit up the middle. And it's in there. He continues to get on base. That's hit number four in this game.
Now but he just continues to swing the hot bat in this one. Is that four hits for him now? Yes, it is. Line fair down the line and right. Off the wall on a hop. Tomei's going to try to score. And he will score from second base. Now batting. Well, anytime you're a hitter and you can get three hits in a game, you're going to see that average start creeping up to where you want it to be. And he's on now with one out. Runners at second and third, only one away. The pitch. Swing sends this one on the line to right center. That's going to one hop off the wall. And Damon crosses the plate. And Ramirez scores two. And he'll stop at second base. That'll be a two run double. Number 20, Quinton. Great hitting or poor pitching. I'm not sure which. He may be running out of gas, but that's now four straight hits against him. Not looking real good. First pitch to Quinton. Swung on, hit sharply to first. And another hit. They're really gunning right now. Now batting. Well, a guy that just continues to swing the bat well in this ball game. Three hits right now so far. And it comes with one out in the inning. Can it start a rally? Two men on, one out. Oh. Fastball, too low, one and oh. He's gone nine for 20 over his career against the Cubs. Let's get back in this one, Chicago. Ready with a 1 0. Towards the middle. Bimel. That's one. And they get it. They turn two. They strike for five base hits in this inning and three runs up. White Sox continue to run away with this ball game. Pitch to Soriano. Strike one. And swing and a miss on Peavy's pitch. 0-1. Oh, well, I tell you what, for a two-seam fastball, he had some good movement and good pop on that one. Batter swung late. Strike two. Strike two. Soriano. Gonna have to be careful here. You're swing out. and a miss on the slider. One out. K Cam registers this at 86 miles per hour. Some pretty good break. Marlin. A breaking ball Murray. right there gets him to swing. You can see that back leg kind of jelly bit a little bit. He really used the off-speed pitches during that at bat to get it over with. And here's the first one. That swung on line towards the gap in left center. And that'll put Bird on first. He's safe without a play. That's going to bring Mike Fontenot to the plate. Well, anytime you're a hitter and you can get three hits in a game, you're going to see that average start creeping up to where you want it to be. And he's on now with one out. Runner at first with one down. Catcher can't control it. So they can't make the play. Well, listen, it's all about advancing base runners in the game. you got to make plays defensively, but that error cost him, and he came out of his hand wrong, and the ball sailed on him. Though he's behind that time, can't catch up with it. One and one. One out in the eighth inning here. Obviously, time running out on this offense. They've got to try to force their hand. They need base runners. Get on. You're, you know, you. There's a swing. Ball lined softly down the left field side. That should be a base hit. And Bird's on his way home. And he scores. Boy, the continuation here of this offense is called big time momentum. One way as Aramis Ramirez gets up. Well, he's coming off a two hit performance in his last outing, and even though they lost, it's a good sign that he's starting to swing. And for this offense right now, something to be positive about. They just don't want to take a good look at the scoreboard. At the belt, Peavy kicks and throws. Hit sharply towards the hole. So up next, Giovanni Soto. 
number well, now after giving up three straight hits, the manager has to start thinking about getting somebody up in the pen. First one to Soto. Here's the pitch. Sliders in there for a called strike. Here's the 0-1 from Peavy. Can't catch up with it. 0-2. He got him so far. Eight okay. strikeouts For today. But good, great okay. confidence right there in his Number stuff. Could have wasted a pitch right there, but he figured, why worry? It's a great job of finishing off the batter in a hurry. Never got a chance to see much. Line drive fouled oh. off towards first. There's a smash towards the hole. And that's going to do it. Canerco's there. Well, they scratch across a run. Three hits and a couple left on. The Cubs. And a chance to see one of the many expressions of Lou Pinot. He's reflecting right now. Not uh, likely a lot of positive reflections, however, in this game. And he starts Rios out. Swings on that first pitch, misses the fastball, 0 and 1. He's hit 263, lifetime off the Cubs. Fly ball. It is foul. It was that close to being gone. You're out. Here's the pitch. Big swing, misses on the changeup, struck him up and away. You know, what I like about this is on 0-2, he didn't mess around. He didn't try to nibble. He got a chase off the plate. He goes right at him and just gets the strikeout. Base is empty with one away. First pitch, here it comes. Swung on and missed, 0-1. Here's the pitch. Way down the line and left. It's up against the wall on a bounce. And he's in at second with a double. One out. Well, with that big hit right there, he only needs a triple to complete the cycle. But hey, that's the toughest one to get. Let's see if he can do it. First pitch on the way. That pitch was way too low, but he swung at it anyway. It's a strike. The pitch. Line shot into center field. Out number two. And he looks that runner back to second base. Coming to bat for the Chicago White Sox. And Jim Tomey. Runner on second and two outs. Lined right at the second baseman. Throws the first side is retired. So out of the inning, only eight pitches thrown. That's pretty efficient. Up next, it'll be the Cubs. Okay. Taking account of the ball game, there's Ozzie Guillen. He has to be very pleased right now, riding this one out. And we'll get to see Bobby Jenks pitching as they make the pitching swap. Well, it's not surprising they're going to the bullpen now. It's, I just thought maybe they waited a little bit too long. Should have gone and gotten them a little bit earlier. Here's the 1 0 from Jenks. And Ramirez fields the ball. And that'll retire Terrio. And Hot Power batting. Grounded out his last time through. First pitch on the way. Takes a call. Strike one. Called strike at its own two. Velocity and location are absolutely critical. That Ball. pitch was exactly where he wanted to throw it. Swung on, grounded towards the hole. And he steps on first. That's the second out. And it's Kosuke Fugadomi. Lifetime. He's uh, picked up no hits in one at bat off Bobby Jenks. Strike one! Jenks with a delivery. Strike that time, and it's 0-2. Fans are on their feet right now. They know two strikes on the hitter. They need to keep this thing going. Swing and a fly ball, and this might be it. 
And that will bring up Alfonso Soriano. You're in such a deep hole, O2, because the pitcher has so many different ways he can go. To be able to pull a base out in this situation, that's an outstanding effort. Lays off a called strike, 0 and 1. And they set up down and away, they throw it down and away. That's how you can be effective as a major league pitcher. Oh. And it holds at 0 and 2. He delivers. Swing, fly ball. This may be the ball game. This one's going to be fielded by Ramirez. And it falls in there for a base hit. Ugadomi's not stopping yet. He makes it to second base. And the run comes in. Number 23. Statistics say that the 0-2 count by far is an advantage for the pitcher. But in this situation, he fought off a tough pitch and slapped the base hit. Great job on that at bat. Pitch in the dirt, blocked by the catcher. Here's the 1-0. 1-0 is a fastball that runs away to an 0. Here's the 2-0. And here's a fastball for a called strike, 2-1. He's ready now, the 2-1. Fastball called strike two. Fans are on their feet right now. They know two strikes on the hitter. They need to keep this thing going. Swung on and missed, and this game's history. And that's it. The Chicago White Sox claim the crowd. Baseball's best. And let the World Series celebration begin. The emotions of a year. You're going to see it on the faces of these players now. This is the moment they have been waiting for. And Gary, they knew it could happen today, and it did. You're looking at the culmination of an incredible season. Hard work, adversity. Everything came together, and now they are the champions. Steve, this is when they are kids again. They just can't contain themselves. Look at the celebration. What a season. The World Series championship has been awarded amidst all this celebration. The player who has earned the Pepsi Clutch Performer and World Series MVP award. You know, win as a team, but I don't think there's a single teammate that would argue he is the single most impactful player on their team and deserving of this award. It has been a remarkable year of baseball and a marvelous moment for all the fans and a pleasure for us to be able to bring it to you. That sure has been, Gary. I want to thank the fans, all of our crew. I want to thank you as well and everybody that's been here to make it a great baseball season. And thank you, everybody, for joining in. We hope you enjoyed it as much as we did, and we'll see you next year. And we were witness to history in this one. For John Crux, Steve Phillips, I'm Gary Thorne. Good night.